I have used the Fitbit one for a couple years now and I was very interested in the Charge HR to get the heart rate uh, monitoring features that it has. So I purchased one and um, I was skeptical that it would be as accurate as the one because it was worn on the wrist. So um, I put the two together head to head. I had made another account so I could keep tabs on each of them and uh, this will give the totals for each day of the week that I wore both devices. So here's day number one. They came in pretty close to each other. Um, I work in an office environment, so my steps are all in the office. Here's day two. Uh, this was interesting because I went grocery shopping in the evening on this day, and that's where the discrepancy came in. Here's that hour and a half grocery shopping trip. I made sure I walked around the store a lot, and the Charge HR came in 2,400 steps below uh, the Fitbit One. So here's the next day, day three. Uh, they again came in pretty close. Charge HR was ahead a little bit. And on day four, um, Again, the Charge HR came in ahead, that big, large amount of steps there is playing ping pong for a couple hours. Um, here's day five again, not too far off, Charge HR ahead again. And day six, um, again, very close, um, only about 400 steps difference. And day seven, um, they were close, but the Charge HR again had more steps. So here's the week totals, you can see there roughly a thousand steps difference um, so although the Charge HR had less steps in one day um, the, it really made up for itself with getting extra steps elsewhere so they came in pretty close I'm happy with that I still do use the Fitbit one most of the time but if I'm doing something where I want to see my heart rate or um, doing something more active I do wear the uh, Charge HR because I like the that feature that it has so Hope this is helpful to you and um, good luck walking. Thanks for watching.